So I just got this old dilapidated house that has literally zebra wallpaper in it and parakeets. And it's time, my friends, to clean this place up. But in order to do that, I need to earn some money doing some other missions. Ooh, we have one down here in the Crayfish Coast. A tiny house to flip. I like that idea. You're making it big in Pina Cove. We decided did at Jane's. I've worked a little bit. A first proper house flip. Let's begin this job. Oh my goodness. All right, so this thing is a straight up beachfront bungalow and it is disgusting. 33 trash hanging out on side. This thing is gross. Let's get to work. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is clean up straight up the garbage. Let's open that up and just throw these bags in it. Like, you can't even put your garbage bags in the garbage can. What is wrong with you? Next thing we do, we're gonna sell that log and maybe anything else, like old moldy tires hanging out here. Fellas got just pallets hanging in the backside too. We're gonna collect all that trash as well. And we haven't even looked inside yet. All that graffiti, my goodness. I'm gonna sell the table and chairs in that box. And more of these boards. Clean up more garbage from outside. Oh, we're gonna just throw that in the garbage. And then finish selling all of the trashy trash outside. Did we get all the trash? We still have 12 things to sell, which are mainly just like bushes. I guess we have to go upstairs. I'm kind of concerned what's up here. You know what? It's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. I do have to uncover the skylights. This place is gonna look really good when we're done with it, I bet. We have two more things to sell, which might be that old ship's wheel. Oh, and an umbrella down below, whatever. We're just gonna clean up the rest of the garbage and then we'll vacuum, okay? I feel like this is actually a pretty decent spot to start. We can vacuum the leaves off the skylight. Probably don't step on it, we don't wanna fall through. There's a bunch more leaves over here, looking good. I'm gonna get a big raise after today. Oh uh, yeah, professional cleaning. Also, check this out. He shoots, he scores! Oh, told ya, <laughs> made it somehow. Uh oh, that one totally didn't make it. So we have three stains to clean up here too. I'm guessing that's all of them. Oh, it's nice and tidy. So I need to find wherever that umbrella was and sell that and clean up these nasty, disgusting stains and graffiti. What is that? What is like, I don't even know what kind of garbage stain this would be. It's just, just gross. Okay, that was the last of the outside stains. We're gonna pick up this thing, throw it back in the hole. Nice. Oh, that's the umbrella I'm supposed to sell. Cool. Okay, so we are in the buying phase. I think I'm just gonna go inside and get all of the cleaning done for... Oh, why? Why have you done this to yourself? Why live in squalor like this? Just collect all the trash and then... Oh, gross. Is anything worth salvaging? Should we just burn this place down? There's so much garbage laying around, I can't even find the garbage. I guess it's probably hiding under a bed. We'll find it eventually. Let's just get rid of the furniture. There it is. I knew you were hiding somewhere. We're gonna sell literally everything in the kitchen too. Gotta get new cabinets. You know, just starting fresh. Oh, so gross. Okay, uh, time to clean. Ugh. We'll start on the top side. The roof is kind of dirty. Not terrible shape for being everything else being filthy. Got the top side done. Let's clean up the windows next. Squeaky, 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 squeaky. And then over and down, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Up, over, down, up, and ta-da. One window clean, two windows clean. Third window getting cleaned. This is actually really satisfying, watching all of the gross go away, and then it goes bing. These little ones, they're not as satisfying, but they look good when they're done. And we have one more stain remaining in here. And all of the stains are gone. So we'll go into this room. This is some sort of nasty dungeon thing. All right, clean it up. You know the drill, get rid of everything before we make it tidy. Collect the trash on the ground. Clean the floors up, wash the windows. And we have another clean room. This one is gonna take some paint, so we'll do that in a little bit. But we have one more room to clean. Oh. Yeah, gross. There's nothing like nastier to me than a dirty bathroom. Like it's the place you're supposed to be getting clean. Why is there just squalor and mold laying around? Like if you have a, like, it, like real talk, if you have a bathroom right now that needs cleaning, just pause the video, get up, Go clean it just a little bit, just for me. You'll feel so much better when it's better. Like, I promise, just go do it. 
and we're gonna sell that rug because it's ugly and we're gonna sell that because it's also ugly and these you know what those are ugly too and your window's dirty that is the last of the grime in this house we'll clean up the last bit of trash and now it's time i guess to repaint things this room wants us to do two new floorings so we'll just buy some of this slap it on the ground grab the old trowel out and away we go we're gonna put the flooring on the ground and I don't feel it appropriate to put flooring on the walls, so we'll just buy some of that. And start putting green. Oh, I thought it was green tile. Okay, the white subway tile, that actually looks really good. That's what we have in our backsplash, like in real life. We didn't go all the way down to the ground though. That's kind of a waste when the cabinet's covered up. Ooh, surface perk finishes, neat. So I don't think I'll be using those anymore. What kind of flooring and wall stuff do we need in this room? Oh, there's still something to sell in here. So the lights? Oh, these little hooks on the wall. My goodness. Okay, I think this is the flooring. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of dark tile on the floor, but I think it'll be okay. And we must have got like a industrial size shipment of these white tiles because we're using an awful lot of them in this bathroom. And the bedroom itself needs to be painted. So let's set the borders like so oh wait that wall doesn't need to get painted only this one makes it easier for me does that sound tickle your ears like it makes my ears tickle inside of them i don't know if i like that or not but it makes the room look a lot better so i am all about it there we go room complete nope oh we gotta do this wall too I'm not exactly sure how to paint behind a door when the door is open but you know what i'm not gonna complain i'm just gonna do the work Please don't run out of paint. Nailed it. All right, let's see, did I do it? Oh, <laughs> nope, not quite. Now I got it done. Beautiful. That looks so good. All right, time for some refurnishing. Let's start in the bathroom first. We have a sink, we have a shower. We'll buy that shower. Oh, that looks good. I like what you've done with the place. Need to get a new mirror. Um, usually we have mirrors over the sink so you can see yourself, but I don't know where to put the toilet. How do you get in the shower? Shower door opens that way, so we have to put the toilet here. You can do the sink under the window so you can look out. That's okay. And then we'll do a mirror maybe on the side. Ah, it's too tight. Ah, I don't like that. <laughs> Nobody wants to sit down and just stare at themselves in the to You know what? Whatever. We won't judge the owners. They can move it if they want to. What do we get to buy in this room? A new bed. Bed's always the first thing to purchase, so we know where to put it. Bed under the window. Does that line up good? Eh, decent. There's a bit of a gap, but that makes it easier to plug in your phone. We'll slap in the dresser at the foot of the bed. Plenty of place to walk through. Put the full-length mirror next to it. I think it only told me to buy one nightstand, but I'm totally buying two because you have to have two. The world map? My goodness, that's huge. <laughs> Did it let me put it over the... That's stupid. Let's put it here. We'll put the reading lamps on the desk, even though nobody actually reads anymore. And an alarm clock, even though nobody uses an alarm clock anymore. And then we'll start putting some plants in. All right, little plant right in there. We're going to plant all three of the succulents in that one. Nice! Bedroom's complete! Woo! Now is where the real fun begins. We get to redesign the kitchen. I guess there's a cabinet that's probably going to go in the corner because it needs to. Is that an upper or a lower? Must be an up lower. There's an oven. Oven next to this. Sure. Make sure it's tight. Can we fit the sink right there too? I'm not a huge fan of that, but it'll work. All right, we are gonna move things. Let's move the oven over here. Next to the wall. Put the drawers beside it, and then we'll put the sink in over here. Can this sink fit, please? Oh, it does. Okay, and we'll put the other drawer over here so we just have a little bit of room to get in that doorway. Also, so we can put a fridge in. That really ruins everything. Put the fridge on the other side. Nope. Fridge there, oven here. All right, bigger fan of that. Now the uppers go on. Need a nice little area. I'm guessing they want me to put it right at that line of the subway tile, because that's really where they go. We have the induction cooktop. We'll put that on top here. I can finish the job, but we're not done. No, we're not, my friends. We have lots of other things to do. We also have problems. I can't fit things properly. Okay, I got certain things in, and if I put that right there, that's how this kitchen's meant to look. We need our drying rack next to the sink. 
Coffee maker in the corner, yeah. wasting precious countertop space with a bread box. You know what? Screw that. We're putting the bread box up in the top. Just like that. Shoot. <laughs> Never mind. We might not put that in here. I might suggest buying a smaller one so you could fit it in the cupboards properly. And now some more things. We need a sofa. Where do we want to place the sofa? Right here? Is that where it was? Something was there, I remember, but I don't remember what it was. Do we have a we have a desk? We have shelves? Oh, that's a tiny shelf. Yeah, that'll fit good. I also don't know what to do with this towel. Do we hang it right here? We do. Aw, it's homey. I think one of the hardest things to do in this game is to make everything fit that they want you to put in and make it look good. Like, I don't know why we have to have all of this furniture plus another bookshelf. Like, this this thing doesn't even fit. Like, what is that for? It doesn't even go in this room. But I guess it works to hold fish on it. And a whale. Okay, I mean, that's okay. I, I would have liked to put a picture there. Can we find a picture? Yeah, there's a good one, 96 Revolution. How about, I don't know, something like this, maybe even. <sighs> yeah, all right. That, that works. It kind of fits into the bathroom better, but it's okay. It looks better than having an empty wall there. And now we get to head back outside to, I just locked myself in. Oh, now we get to head back outside to finish off the roof. This is where I would love to be. I mean, look at that view. If it wasn't a video game, it'd be kind of beautiful. So they want two sun beds. I guess we'll put them here and here. To go along with that, we need a patio umbrella. Nothing like a good sun bed without the sun. Some plants in the planters. Like so. Come on, game. Come on. Just one in there. Yes. Good. All the plants are put up. And an accent table to go between the two thingies. Yeah. All right. Upstairs is completed. And downstairs we go. I believe there's a few things. Yep. Just a little table and chairs. Do we just put it outside on the front? We can. Beautiful. And there it is, my friends. We have completed the bungalow flip. Woo. The beach bungalow. I... I would totally move into that. Yeah, that's an amazing, well, it's kind of small, but as a, as a, like a getaway spot, this is cool. So much better than what we came here at. And that is our first flip. So let's see how much money we made from it. $25,866. That'll help us a lot in our other house. And I feel so depressed coming back here because it's just nasty. Tom, what do you want? Hi. Did you like your first full house? It was pretty good. Uh, yeah, it was, you know what? The house was unusual, but it was awesome, too. I did. That's great. Pinnacove needs a talented house renovator. Yeah, that's me. When the town council members finally come to their senses, uh -huh. we have someone to fix that poor old driftwood house. The poor old driftwood house. I have an idea for how you can practice your house flipping skills. Yeah, by going and flipping houses, I'm guessing. There's a site where you can look for rundown houses. Oh, good. Like Just eBay. Buy them, do your magic, and put them on sale. I can do that. I'm sure that with your work quality, you'll find buyers in no time. Beautiful. You did so well with the last do I get a raise? That I managed to sell it for Way more than I Wait, expected. I didn't get a raise. You got a raise. I oh, I do get a raise. <laughs> it should be enough for you to buy your own house to flip. If you want to, of course. I do want to. Good luck with your career. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. Buying a house. Houses. This is the one I'm in right now. Ooh, we can assemble different things. And there currently are a few open for sale. The former houseboat, which is very similar to what we did. There's a modern beach house and a few others. Oh, there's a ton of them here in the suburbs. You guys will have to let me know what we can do in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed this one. So thanks for watching and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all my patrons and channel members, including Spider Sacks, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Brett, Dalton C, Scanner D, Mr. Cripple One, Baton Please, Fussy Badge, Missing Sniper, Blank Hewitt, Tyler J, Nitro VR, Nitrox, Wyatt H, Honor Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippias, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, Riddler Warrior, Keegan H, Zarnoff, Baxter, Ral, VC Engineer, Scars Marex, Spencer T, Whiskey, and YH. 